Hello everyone. Today, I'll be going over a Solar Hunter build that can deal massive precision damage and has great ad clear potential. Let's get right into it. For our first exotic, we have Celestial Nighthawk, which turns our Golden Gun Super into a single, ultra high damage shot that melts bosses and champions. It also reduces our super cooldown with precision final blows and grants super energy when defeating enemies with Golden Gun. This is a top tier exotic, the creme de la creme if you will. Not just for its high damage output, but for generating super energy and allowing you to use Golden Gun more frequently. It comes with a catch. You have to land a precision shot for the increased damage. Not all enemies have crit spots, and sometimes you will miss your shots. That's why we're using Dragon's Breath as a backup. Dragon's Breath shoots rockets that embed themselves and shoot out scorching flames. It has the highest damage output of any rocket launcher in the game, and with the catalyst, it quickly auto reloads and creates fire sprites with its ignition final blows. Pairing both exotics ensures that our Solar Hunter is dealing big damage regardless of the situation. The subclass section. For the super, we're running Golden Gun Marksman. This stacks with Celestial Nighthawk for even more precision damage. For our class ability, we got Gambler's Dodge to instantly recharge our melee ability when dodging near enemies. To keep in line with dealing precision damage, we're using Weighted Throwing Knife for our melee. This knife deals extra precision damage and ignites scorched targets. We also recharge our class ability with precision final blows, creating a feedback loop with Gambler's Dodge. For our grenades, we have healing grenades for a quick burst of healing when we get into any sticky situations. We can skip any damage dealing grenades because we'll be using Gunpowder Gamble for our first aspect. When we defeat enemies with solar abilities, debuffs, or weapons, we charge up an explosive that can be thrown and shot mid-air to cause an ignition. If you fail to shoot it in midair, it'll stick to any surface and explode after a brief time. Gunpowder Gamble is essentially a souped up trip mine that's great for taking out a bunch of adds or dealing big chunk of damage to a meteor enemy. For our second aspect, we have On Your Mark for increased handling and reload speed with precision final blows, up to three stacks. After a dodge, we get full stacks. Nothing too spectacular with this aspect, but we do get three fragment slots with it. Speaking of which, our first fragment is Ember of Ashes, so we can apply more Scorch stacks to targets and are more likely to trigger ignitions. Next, we have Ember of Singeing to recharge our Gambler's Dodge faster when scorching targets. This comes in real handy when we burn our melee and dodge. For our third fragment, we have Ember of Torches to make us radiant with power melee attacks. Fragment 4 is Ember of Mercy, so we gain restoration when picking up fire sprites and increase survivability. Finally, for our last fragment, we have Ember of Searing to gain melee energy and create fire sprites when defeating scorched targets. Now for the armor mods. In the helmet slot, we have two harmonic siphon mods to generate orbs of power with rapid solar weapon final blows. We also have a heavy ammo finder mod to make sure Dragon's Breath has plenty of ammo. For the arm slot, we have two focusing strike mods to get class ability energy when we cause damage with our weighted throwing knife. These mods guarantee we get some ability energy if we fail to get a precision final blow with our knife. In the chest slot, we have harmonic reserves to increase the amount of solar weapon ammo we can carry and two elemental resistance mods based on the activity we're doing. For legs, we're running a solar weapon surge mod for a 10% damage buff to our solar weapons, an absolution mod to reduce our ability cooldowns when we pick up an orb of power, and a recuperation mod to replenish health when picking up an orb of power. In the class item slot, we have a bomber mod and a distribution mod to reduce our grenade and ability cooldowns when dodging. Finally, a powerful attraction mod to collect nearby orbs with dodging. It's all about dodging here. For our artifact mods, we'll run all the solar mods, Kindling Trigger, Flint Striker, Heart of the Flame, Revitalizing Blast, and Rays of Precision. These mods will ensure we're constantly scorching enemies, constantly radiant, and constantly causing ignitions. Although these next two mods are more situational, I'd recommend using Overload Rocket Launchers and Solo Operative. So just like with the Solar Titan build I made a few weeks ago, you'll need a primary solar weapon with Incandescent for this build. In the kinetic slot, you can run any weapon you'd like, a special or one that takes seasonal champion mods. Also, I highly recommend running high stats for mobility and resilience to reduce your dodge cooldown even more and increase your survivability. Although this build can require more focus than other types of builds, it's definitely worth it. It's a lot of fun melting bosses and igniting the crap out of everything. Hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching.
make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for more build videos. Until next time.